Morning, everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday class. Here's Shakura. She's uh, going to be doing the chat today. So that's, uh, I'm looking forward to another Wednesday. I, I was talking to Shakura the other day, and I, and I really feel almost like this, we're doing a shiatsu session together as a group because we find out what we need with the tuning in, so which is kind of like the diagnosis. And then every week I get put on the spot because I have all these ideas and I have to throw them out the window because um, something surprising happens with what you need as a group or what we need as a group, because I'm in the group too. Um, so it's, it's a really interesting process every week. We have a core set of exercises, as you know, that we do that are really important, um, but we change them depending on what we need as a group and what's happening out in the environment. And we've got a bit of an announcement, as I said last week, um, next Wednesday, we're going to upgrade the whole thing and we're going to basically keep the same format. It'll be an hour long. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to slowly uh, introduce different concepts of Chinese medicine each week, just a little bite sized piece. And um, our aim is to cover the whole Shiatsu syllabus, uh, the first year syllabus in one year as a whole cycle. And we're going to run right through all the seasons. Um, and we're going to give you a little bit of theory. We're hoping to get some notes together to give you that you can look at after the sessions. OK, so it's a bit of an upgrade <laughs> and um, we hope you're going to enjoy that. But we're going to keep the things that we love and uh, we hope you love most about these sessions, which is the spontaneous nature of them, the way we change things around and how we respond um, as a group. OK, so let's get straight on. And I think um, what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to just check out where you're at with the whole heaven and earth connection thing. So um, if you'd like to follow through the exercise or the tuning in with me, and we'll find out where, we are, where we're at, okay? So this is to check to see whether you basically are feeling too heavy and too grounded, or whether you're feeling too kind of scatty and kind of up, your energy is too up. Next week, we'll start on the whole Chinese medicine thing. We'll go deeper into what that really means. Um, but for this week, let's just check in and see how we're feeling. So we're going to stand in a natural position. We're not going to be doing anything particular with our energy. We're just tuning in. And if you tune into your whole body, okay, I'd like you to just assess whether you think you're feeling generally rather heavy and stuck to the ground or whether you're feeling a little bit kind of up here, maybe a bit of energy coming up, maybe you're feeling ungrounded, you're a bit like this, or do you feel nicely balanced in the middle? So just take a second to check into how you're doing. Scan through your whole uh, body energy. Okay. And let's just see how we feel. Do you feel too heavy and grounded or too light or nicely in the middle? And I'm going to launch the poll for that because we'd like to get an idea of the group, how you how you are as a group. Um, so is your energy too up, too down or. Um, and there's a, a range here, you'll see very much too up. A little bit too up, about balance, too down, feel heavy, too down, or very much too down. So let's just get an idea of how you, of where you are with that, and we'll just get an idea. Okay, very, very interesting. In the past, we've got an almost perfect distribution there, and that seems to be happening more or less, more or less the same, although there's a tendency, a little bit of a tendency to feel <coughs> a bit too heavy there. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. Anyone else want to vote? No, that's good. Okay, so now let's tune into our three burners and then we're gonna do one more little uh, tuning in thing I'd like to do with you, um, just to check on something that's a kind of seasonal thing that we'll find out more about next, next week and the next in a few weeks. Okay, so let's tune into our burners again. Remember that, the three burners, and we'll see um, how we're doing. If you've been coming to previous weeks, you've probably got a memory of like how your burners have changed as we've gone on through the months and how things have changed. So let's find out how we're doing this week. I'll lead you through it and I'll do it with you. So first of all, we're going to tune into our lower burner. That's below the navel. It's this area here. Okay, around into the lower back. You can do it standing or sitting down. I think just for change, I'm going to do it standing up today. I've got my paper there, right here. Um, that's it. 
Okay, so standing or sitting, we're going to tune into the lower burner here. Okay, and just get a sense of what it's like. You might want to close your eyes. Does it feel weak? Does it feel blocked, hot, cold? Okay, tuning in. Very good, okay, now turn that into a picture and we're gonna draw it into the lower burner um, area there, okay? So you might remember what it was like last week and you can kind of track what's happening with your burners as you go through. Okay, got it? <laughs> okay, excellent. Now, the middle burner is from the diaphragm, goes around into the thoracic area and to the navel, so it's this whole upper abdominal area here. Okay, and we're gonna tune into that and see what that's like. Okay, so again, standing, you might wanna close your eyes, tune into that area of the middle burner. Yeah, and you can just ask yourself the question, what is that like? Okay, and if you're not sure, you can compare it with the lower burner. Does it feel exactly the same? Probably not. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to draw in the middle um, part of our diagram here, how, it feel, how your middle burner feels. And you can write some words if you like. Write some words to see how... Um, just so you've got some kind of record of what it's like. Drawings are good because they're a very quick way of a quick way of uh, recording how you're feeling. Excellent. Okay, and now we're going to go up into the upper burner. So again, standing. The upper burner is the whole lung area and the heart area. Okay, and it's all right around here, around the rib cage, into the, um, the cavity of the lungs and also the heart. So let's just tune into that area there. Okay, what does it feel like? Does it feel hot, calm, cool, relaxed, tight? What kind of feelings are you having there in that upper burner? Got it? Excellent, okay, so now I'm gonna draw that on here on our last, um, last box here. I don't know about you, but it's a bit of a close call this week. Sometimes it's a really, really clear one, but um, this week, for me anyway, I've got a couple that I wouldn't mind working on. So I'm excited to see how we're doing as a group um, because there's been some pretty strong trends over the last uh, few months of the way it's switched between the burners that we want to work on. Okay, so let's find out. Okay, which burner would you like to work on most today? And I'm just going to launch the poll and we'll see whether there's a change in the trend we've had over the last few weeks, which has been strongly towards the upper burner. And it looks like it's still persisting, although the lower burner is coming in. And that is fascinating um, because as we'll find out in the next few weeks, we can explain that transition uh, with Chinese medicine due to the way that the five elements work around. So tune in next week and we'll, we'll go deeper into that. But the upper burner still just about takes it. And look at the middle burner, which was very, very dominant towards the end of the first lockdown. Um, it's now gone back into third place. And the upper burner, which was way out on top for the last few weeks, has now gone down a little bit and the lower burner is coming in. And we were going to find out why with the five element theory in the next few weeks. <laughs> OK, so that's really interesting information. OK, now just one other question before we start. I'd like you to do this exercise with me um, because I want to find out what's happening to our breathing. OK, so let's just again stand up, standing up in a natural position. OK. okay. And without doing any uh, conscious breathing technique or anything, I'd just like to take a normal Big breath in, okay? Okay, now hold that breath. 
and just see where has that breath gone to in your body. Breathe out. Okay, so I don't want you to change anything. I just like you to feel where has your breath gone to when you took a natural um, uh, in breath. Okay, and I'm going to um, share this poll now, which is where did your breath go? Did it go high up in your chest, into your whole lungs, into your lower lungs and diaphragm, into the upper abdomen, or did it go down into the lower abdomen? And we'll just check that out as a group where we where we're going to here with this. Okay. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, now that's a very much a much uh, more even distribution than when we did this a few months ago in the first lockdown I did this exercise and almost everyone, I think a vast proportion, felt the breath going high up in the chest there. But hopefully with all these exercises that we've been doing, maybe your natural breathing pattern is starting to get lower down. So less than half of you had high up in the chest, although that is a natural place if you're under any stress to, um, uh, to feel your breathing going, okay? Okay, great. So the themes this week are to connect the upper and the lower burner because we've got to energize that lower burner, okay? And the other thing I'd really like to do is get all of our breathing much, much lower. So by the end of the hour, we will have a natural breathing pattern that um, is much lower down into the lower abdomen. That's our challenge for this week. Okay, shall we, shall we start? Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick drink of water before we go. Okay, now interestingly enough, we're pretty much split as a group between feeling too heavy and too, too high. Okay, so what I'd like you to do in the next five or ten minutes when we do this exercise is to emphasize the part of it that you need personally to balance out your energy in terms of heaven and earth. Okay, so let's first of all stand. Why don't we just get rid of a little bit of tension first of all by just doing some shaking. Okay, so we're going to go down through the body and we're going to shake out any tension from the body before we start. So let's start off with the head and neck and we're going to just work on releasing the jaw. So relaxing the jaw, uh, just shaking around, shaking the neck, uh, <laughs> shaking the shoulders, nice and gently, just letting them go. Okay, and then see if we can get your rib cage to move. Nice and easy, getting those elbows relaxed. Going down into the wrists. Relaxing the hips. Just shaking them out. And shaking out the legs, shaking out the knees. Shaking the ankles. Very good. Okay, here we go. Heaven and earth breathing, connecting with her, the earth and the heavens, and balancing out that tendency to feel too heavy and feel too light. Let's balance it up. First stage, we'll do this Qigong, um, qigong Tai Chi breathing. Opening up kidney one, connecting with your legs, floating the head up with a golden thread. Okay, hanging on that golden thread. Okay, let's breathe in and sink down. And then push up and relax. Okay, so now if you're feeling too heavy, what I'd like you to do is feel that earth pushing you up and feel a lightness as we go up. If you're feeling a bit light and scatty and you need grounding, let's bring our breath down into the earth and connect with the earth. Let's go, okay? Breathing in, connecting with the legs and pushing up. I'm feeling light in our body. And breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, connect down into the earth and breathe out. 
Okay, very good. So now let's use our intention to connect as deep as we can down into the center of the earth. So we're gonna imagine our breathing going right down through our legs and into the center of the earth. So bring the breath in, and we're gonna send the energy from the breath down into the earth. Okay, ready? So we're gonna breathe in. Bring that breath down as low as you can. Breathe out. Send your breath down through your legs into the earth. Very good. Breathing in. One more. Breathing in. Bring that breath as low as you can. Breathing in. Breathe out. Send it down into the centre of the earth. Okay, very good. So now we're going to connect with the heavens energy. So we're going to just have this connection here, the thread up into the heavens. Okay, we're going to imagine we're hanging there. And this time we're going to make our body light, but we're going to be grounded as well. Okay, so here we go. We're going to sink down, feeling light. And breathe out and just gently come up. Keep that feeling of connection with the earth all the time. Breathing in. And breathe out. Relaxing our jaw, relaxing the shoulders. Breathing in. Breathe out. Let's just do one more for luck, breathing in. Okay, very good. So now let's just check in again, and hopefully now we're gonna feel a lot more centered and less heavy and less too light. Okay, let's just get back into the center here. And of course, the best way we can do that, and particularly today where we're shifting into the lower burner, okay, we need to energize the lower burner before we release the middle and energize the upper burner, okay. So let's clap our hands together, let's clap, let's clap our hands together. <clears throat> we're gonna place our hand over the gate of life point with the, um, it's conceptual vessel six, it's just below the navel, an inch and a half below the navel, which is just right here, okay? And that's the famous point that's the center of the energy of the body. So we want to energize that point, we're gonna place the mid, uh, center of our palm over that place there, okay? And it's energizing this point is going to have several effects. It's going to bring our energy more into the center, so we're less up and less down. Um, but also, it's going to activate the lower burner, which can anchor the breath, okay? which is really important today because we've got the upper and the lower burner need working. So let's really energize this. We're going to keep our shoulders relaxed. We're keeping our feet, our keeping one point open on the floor, feeling our connection with the earth. And we're opening the upper body, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the uh, shoulders and the neck, okay? And now we're gonna bring the breath. First of all, let's get the breath down there, okay? So we're gonna relax the shoulders. We're gonna bring our breath in. And what you can do is imagine light coming in with the breath, imagine it going right down into here, collecting underneath your, underneath your hand there. Okay, and then we breathe out. And we keep the breath, the energy from the breath, underneath our hands. Got it? Okay, let's do a few more breaths like that, breathing in. You should feel this slightly moving out as you breathe in. Okay, hold the breath there, hold it, breathe out. Okay, very good. Let's do it again, breathing in. Okay, very good. Now step two is to fill up the whole of this lower burner with energy from the breath. Okay, so let's try that. So now what we do is we breathe in, bring the energy underneath our hands, 
and then you imagine you're containing it in like a bowl here, around here, okay? So it's spreading out and filling up this whole area. And then we breathe out, just the air comes out. Okay, just relax your hips, relax your sacrum, and let that energy go right back into the lower part of your body there. That's better, yeah, sinking in, sinking down a little bit with your knees, very good. Okay, excellent, a few more of those, and we'll have a nice and full lower burner. <laughs> Okay, so breathing in. Okay, collect it there, breathe out. And imagine, just imagine this warm, solid feeling filling up this whole lower burner. Okay, very nice. Okay, excellent. And again, breathing in. Hold it. Breathe out and sink the energy down. Just relax those hips a little bit more. And you want to just keep the pelvic floor nice and supported as well, because you don't want any, any energy leaking out down the, through the lower burn, lower locks and lower chakras. You just imagine with your, your imagination, a kind of bowl there where you're containing it. Very good. Okay, let's just do one more. Breathing in. Very good. Okay, hold it. Okay, now as we're going to find out in the next few weeks, this exercise is something that you should really be doing. If you're feeling any lower burner issues, you really should be doing this like every day, especially now because we're going into winter and Chinese medicine is very strong on how to prepare your energy for different seasons. And we'll find out more about the theory later on in the next few weeks. But the practice of it is to get that bowl um, in the lower burner, that bowl as full of energy as you can using the breath, okay? Now, if we check in now, heaven and earth, you notice how that centralized our energy and it's brought us down if we're too high and it's made us lighter if we're too heavy, okay? Really important. Now, we can also activate that point by doing some uh, rubbing exercises uh, which is what we're going to do now. So we've got this starting to build this energy here and we're going to stimulate this point, this uh, CV6 or Dantian point, gate of light point, with small circles and we're going to channel the chi through, or the energy, the key, through our arms into the palms. Okay, let's go. Okay, standing, rubbing our hands together. Shake out. Okay, excellent, here we go, right? We've got the bowl. <laughs> we, we're nicely uh, standing with a nice loose connection all the way up the spine and then connecting with the golden thread. Breathing in, bring the energy, the breath into there. And this time we're gonna just energize it like this as we breathe out. Okay, now as you breathe out, relax your arms as much as you can and imagine chi going, chi or energy going down your arms through and into, the, into this point. Very good. Okay, now keep breathing nice and easily. And each time we breathe out, we check to make sure we're aligned, make sure the head's floating up and make sure those shoulders are really relaxed and open. Excellent. Okay, now even though we're only using very light pressure here, you soon feel a, like a warm feeling starting to go into that area, and that's supplementing the chi or the energy that we brought in with the breath. Okay, and you'll feel it as a warmth spreading out into the lower burner, and particularly into the lower back. Okay, so keep going, nice easy breaths. Just relax those hips a little bit more, relax your knees, get that connection with the earth. That's it and relax around your sacrum, around here. And just allow that lovely feeling of warmth to go right through into the lower back. Very good, keep your shoulders relaxed. Very good, excellent. Now, if you've got flexibility in your shoulders and you can do this, then we're going to move towards this movement here. 
If it's too much for you, if you get tension in the shoulders, don't worry about it. Just keep doing this one and keep the shoulders relaxed because the main thing is to get the chi down the arms and into the lower burner. Okay, just softening here. Keep it going. Nice and relaxed. And again, imagining the chi going into the lower burner. Very good, okay? And now you can also do this, which is rubbing it down from the lower back into the sacrum. You really wanna get this whole area nice and relaxed and nice and warm. Okay, you know in China that people don't wear scarves around their neck, they put the scarf around the waist because protecting the lower burner is seen, the most, seen to be the most important thing for health. You don't wanna get any cold or damp coming into the lower burner. No, that's not a good idea. And what we're doing here is we're energizing and we're warming up the whole earth burner to protect ourselves from getting any invasion of cold or damp into this area. Okay, very good. Let's have just a little bit of shake, see what that feels like. Checking in, relaxing. Okay, very nice. Can you feel that? We've got an energized and a warm lower burner and that is the foundation for all energy work and all qigong practice. Very, very good. So now let's spend a little bit of time for those of you who need, and we all need some, including me, some releasing in the um, middle burner. But before we do that, let's energize the kidney channel. The kidney channel is the one that relates directly to the lower burner. And as we'll find out in the next few weeks, it's related to the season that's coming up as well. So I think it'd be a good idea to energize the kidney channel. And we can check in and see how, what effect that has on the lower burner. Okay, so the kidney channel runs from the feet. It runs up the inside um, of the, the legs, back at the inside of the legs, up, and it goes up into the lower burner from there. Okay, so let's just rub our hands together. And we're going to just bend forwards. And opening our feet out like this a bit. We're going to just start off around behind the ankle. We're going to tap up the inside back of the leg. So it's from behind the ankle up to just behind the inside of the knee and then at the inside of the legs here. Okay, let's go. Okay, that point there just behind the ankle is kidney three. That's one of the main points for stimulating the kidney channel. So, very good. Go up three times. Excellent. And then just to finish, uh, kind of do the yang channel, which is the pear channel, the bladder channel, go down the back to the outside of the this. What I normally do is when I get to the calves is I switch my hands the other way around and just tap down there. check out again let's check out the lower burner again relaxing you feel that kind of tingling feeling up the inside of the legs and more of a connection with the feet that's because the kidney channel has been opened up and that's again doing more work to get this really strong and uh, full of energy okay so let's make sure that our middle burner is uh, looked after let's just have a little bit of a palpation and actual feeling around the middle burner. I'll give you a bit of a close up here. So let's just feel around the rib cage. I'm just doing a little bit of ampoufu therapy here, we just, which is abdominal um, massage. And we're just gonna feel around here. This is one of the most favorite places for tension to occur in. Um, and it's a really important area to release to keep the digestion working well. Um, because a lot of anxiety uh, goes into the stomach and to the digestive system. So let's just feel around here. Okay, if it does it feel a little bit sore, a little bit tight like mine, <laughs> um, in which case we could probably do with working the stomach and the gallbladder channels because these channels run from the middle burner down into the legs. So let's try, let's spend a bit of time doing that and then we'll move on to the upper burner. 
Okay, so let's work on the liver and the gallbladder channels first. They run down the sides of the body and they run into the middle burner. And we can start off with them just right here, just happening. Either like this, or if you can reach it like this, the sides of the body, go down. Okay, now we've got some really important points here, right into the center of the hip here, right into the buttocks here. Let's just give them a good, really good tapping. There we go, down. Down the outside of the legs. And then up the inside of the legs. Down the outside of the legs. Down the outside of the legs, the gallbladder channel. Right down the outside, right up the inside of the legs. Okay, that's it, and then brushing off. Very good. Okay, and now we're gonna work the stomach channel. That runs along the abdominal muscles here, runs just outside his abdominal muscle here. It goes down through and down the outside, front of the legs. Okay, so here we go. Tapping around here, nice and lightly. Okay, and we're going down the outside front of the legs. And up the inside front of the legs. shake our legs out and now just check in again see what effect that's had you notice your legs feel much more tingly and alive and let's just check out the middle burner now because what should have happened is it should become a lot less tender but let's just feel here and sure enough this is much more relaxed now and that's just because we've been using uh, those channels that relate directly to this area we have the stomach channel and the liver and the gallbladder channels okay magic okay very good excellent stuff and we can just finish that off by doing some swinging exercises just to free up the middle burner, feet connected to the earth, head floating up, relaxing our shoulders, turning to the left and right, keep the hips as far as to the front if you can. Doesn't that feel good? Really nice. Nice and easy. Okay, we come back into the front again. And we can move on now to working the upper burner. Okay, now as we're gonna find out in the next few weeks, um, the seasons all have a different element. And what we're doing now is we're moving from autumn into winter. And in terms of the burners, the autumn is related to the upper burner, it's related to the lungs, and the lower burner is related to the kidney, which is related to the winter. So it's very interesting, the lower burner is just starting to come in now. Um, and so we've energized the lower burner, we've freed up the middle burner, and to help that transition into, um, into winter from autumn, the main thing we need to do is we need to work on the lungs. And we're gonna do that with a series of different exercises, I'm going to make a bit of a special um, feature of that today. And then what we'll do is we'll link the breath between the lungs and the lower burner. And that will be 
really good idea. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with this medical Qigong exercise. This is a really easy exercise to do, um, but it's deceptively powerful. And that's this um, lung exercise that we do with the um, swinging arms. Okay, now you lift your arms up to about shoulder height. Make sure you turn your um, thumbs outwards, okay, and let them drop back. Okay, now as we're doing that, what we want to do is try and get the breath as low as we can. So as you're breathing, try and get that breath down into the lower abdomen if you can. Okay. Okay, and the Chinese medicine in the lungs descend the chi down and the kidneys, that's the lower burner, they say it grasps the key from the lungs. So basically get this feeling of strength down here allows the chief from the lungs to settle downwards so you don't get this <gasps> upward feeling when you're breathing okay okay now once you've got the breathing pattern sorted out okay you're nice and easy breaths down into the lower abdomen the next thing is to start working on the channel using our minds and the first thing we're going to do is open up lung one that's around here on the front of the shoulders so you can just keep swinging so right around, around, around here, this whole area here. Okay. We're just going to let it open up. And let's just see from the side. What I'm doing is I'm opening this area out this way as I bring the arms back. Very gently allowing that space to open up. And keep those thumbs outwards. Very good. Now see if you can trace internally, trace a connection from lung one area here down to your thumbs. And if you stretch your thumbs out a little bit and stretch them outwards, and then just imagine a line of breath or energy going down this way into the thumbs. Nice and gentle. Okay, don't forget your grounding, keep those hips relaxed, keep connected to the earth. That's it. Keep that head floating up. You're going to feel a, ni a nice lot of space now and freedom in the upper burner. Okay, we're going to keep going. Just nicely relaxed, focusing your mind from lung one down into the thumbs. Very good. Okay, nice and easy. Very good. Let's just do it for a few more breaths. Okay, excellent. Okay, now let's just hold down our arms to come to the side. Hey, very good. Now, if you just monitor your breathing, monitor how you're feeling internally, especially with the connection with the lower burner. Get that nice feeling of solidity here that gives freedom for the breath in the upper body. And that's a really important internal energy connection, especially at this time of year. So now let's really turbocharge the lungs. We're going to get them so amazing. You're going to be ah, so positive. <laughs> Okay, the lungs in Chinese medicine are related to positivity um, and boundaries and letting go, um, all those kind of positive attributes. So we need a lot of positivity at the moment and we can get it by energizing the lungs. So we've opened the lung channel up really nicely with this exercise. Now let's go on to the dough in and really get this lung channel opened up. Okay, we're gonna go down the lung channel, we're gonna go up the large intestine channel, which is this paired channel, to provide a circuit around this part of the arm. Okay, so we're gonna start off here and we're gonna tap here. And if you can make a sound, if you haven't got any neighbors to will, uh, hear you making a straight sound, <laughs> and you can just gently tap here and go, uh, feel the sound in the whole of your lungs. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we're going on a journey all the way down to the thumb. So we're going to go down here, I'll give you a bit of a close up, down the arm, 
down into the just into the elbow here okay now once you've gone down here we're going to go back up the large intestine channel which starts here we go up the arm along this edge here so we get up to the shoulder and then we go round again into the lungs and then lung one uh, and then down okay and then up the large intestine channel and then whoa. thumb here. Very good. And brushing off. Okay, now let's just close our eyes and look, feel the difference between your left arm and your right arm. Doesn't it feel longer? This arm feels much longer and you kind of get a tingling feeling down to the first finger. And that's the lung channel nicely opened up and energized. So we better do the other side now. So here we go. Lung one. Um, Uh, and then down the arm towards the thumb. Um, and then back up again. And the outside edge of the arm here, through and up into the shoulder. And then out. Can feel the positivity building as we do it. <laughs> there we go. The large intestine is more to do with the letting go aspect, and the lungs are more to do with energizing positivity, creating your boundaries, knowing when to say no, knowing when to say yes. Okay, so there we go. Up the large intestine. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, excellent. So we've used Qigong, we've used Doing, and now we can use a Meridian stretch to really finish off this lung special here. Okay, and um, let before we do that, let's I'll show you some points, and uh, then we can feel a stretch of the lung. Okay, so we've got lung one here. It goes down through the arm. <clears throat> various different points on the arm, but the ones that are really worth knowing are lung nine, which is on the wrist. And so if you find your wrist now, and you look along the wrist crease here, just going down towards the thumb, here's the thumb, just going down towards the thumb here on the wrist crease, so it's just here, uh, is lung nine. And we can just, let's just do some self shiatsu here, we're just going to gently press in. Now if you just relax your thumb, and feel the sensation in this arm, you may very well feel a sensation up the arm, into the elbow, and then up into the shoulder. That's partly because we've opened up the channel so well with the Qigong and the Doin. And now you can feel that point there, energizing the lung channel. If you get problems with your throat, the point that you of choice is here, lung 10. not quite on the actual bulge of the thumb in here, it's more along the bone there. So let's just do a bit of self shiatsu on that point and just relax this arm, this arm that you're pressing, your left arm, see if you can feel a sensation up the channel. It might be quite a, just a subtle feeling of connection up through the connective tissue there. And then if we squeeze down through this thumb, we get around the thumb here and we can just grasp it and then just pull off like we've done before, okay? And that's a, just a little self shiatsu routine for the lungs. These point, this group of points here, very good for opening up the throat and helping the breathing. If you get any asthma or anything like that, you can hold these points. And here we are, we've got it on the other side, look. And we have the same point. 
Let's see if we can feel the channel again. We're going to relax the thumb. We're just going to use our breath and our chi to penetrate into the into the channel. I'm going to relax this arm. Okay, you may or may not be able to feel a sensation up the arm, into the elbow, and then up into the shoulder, front of the shoulder. Yeah, and then we've got lung 10 here. See if you can do the same thing, relaxing, feeling the sensation up the channel. And then squeezing down right in this part of the nail there is lung 11, the last point on the lung channel. Okay, so you can see the direction. It starts here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, very good. So this is a little self shiatsu uh, routine for the lungs on the hands. Very nice. Okay, let's see if, what effect that's had. We're going to tune in again, standing again, just relaxing. Now, if you feel your hands, you should feel a nice energized feeling in your thumb. <laughs> and if you really relax, you may be able to feel that connecting up with the sensation all the way up here and into this area here. And if you can, that's excellent because that's the lung channel energized by the qigong, the doin, and the acupressure, self acupressure. Okay, which just leaves us with one other way we can help out the lungs, and that is with the um, meridian stretch, and you may remember this one. We bring our um, thumbs together like this. We link them together like this, okay? And we point this finger because this is the large intestine finger. What we do is we try and get the stretch into the whole body. So feet shoulder width apart. This should feel nice and open here, stretching back because we've opened up the lung area. So you can just stretch open this area here by going backwards like this. Yeah. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out, go forwards. And we're going to bring those arms up towards the ceiling, opening up lung one. Okay, and holding it as long as you can. See if you can feel a tingly connection into the thumb and the first finger. We're going to come back up again. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this tingly feeling down into the um, first, into the thumb and the first finger. Okay, breathing in again. Breathe out. Very good. Keep it nice and relaxed. You can open up the throat a little bit by looking up slightly. because the channel runs into the throat. Okay, so by moving it like this, you sometimes can feel a connection all the way through down the lung channel. Okay, let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Okay, so breathing in. just holding and relaxing. Okay, very good, and then breathing in and breathing out and coming back up. Okay, excellent stuff. So we're going to do just a little bit of work on the yang channels of the head and neck just to finish off with, finish off. And we just do one stretch of the pericardium just in case of those upper heat to make more the heart and the small intestine meridians. So we've got this lovely feeling of openness here in the upper body. Let's just do a couple of heart stretches. So we've got this one, breathing in, breathing out. We're going to go back, breathe out, stretch towards the middle finger, middle finger, hold it. And see if you can feel a connection deep into the chest. Very good. Breathing in, breathing out. Very good. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, excellent. Hands in the prayer position, breathing in, stretching up, breathing out, pressing your fingertips behind you, opening up the armpits. Here we go. Very good. Breathing in and breathing out.
Very good. One more, breathing in and breathing out. Open up the armpits. Okay, great. So let's just do five minutes on the yang channels and then we'll check in and see if we can get that connection between the upper and the lower heater. Okay, so remember the yin channels on the front of the body and the yang channels are on the back of the body here. And so we need to just do a little bit of work of clearing the energy out this way down the arms and legs. So let's try it. Rubbing our hands together and Let's start off with the gallbladder channel on the sides of the head. So we're going to press around the sides of the head. Just three times, relaxing our jaw. And then squeezing down the back of our neck. Try and feel the connection down into your feet as you do this. Very good. And then we need to just connect that down through the shoulders, just tapping the shoulders, getting the sides of the body, and then down to the feet again. Okay, you see? So that's the side of the head down the sides of the body. Okay, and then we have the stomach channel, so we're going to just work around the forehead, just pressing around the forehead, under the cheekbones. Try and keep the connection with your legs all the way, all the while, all the time, because what we're doing here is we're trying to get the energy away from the head, any obstructed energy away from the head. Okay, and we tap down the front of the body again, remember we did this earlier. This time we're trying to get the emphasis of moving away from the head down into the feet. Okay, excellent stuff. Okay, we're actually not down at the feet. Okay. So that's the stomach channel. This is the gallbladder channel we've done, and so now that finally we just need to work on the bladder channel, which is along the top of the head, so I'm just tapping the top of the head here. Going down onto the uh, neck, so we're going to squeeze the neck, try and get that connection all the way down our spine and into our feet. Okay, and then if you can tap down the upper part of your back here, if you can reach it, and then we need to pick it up as high as we can here. If you've got a friend or some member of your family who's work, or in your bubble, <laughs> who's working with you, you can work on each other's backs here just to get that bit there, which is really hard to get on your own. Okay. And what we're doing is we're going all the way down the back of the legs uh, to connect with the earth. So we're going all the way from here, all the way down, clearing the head of any obstructed energy. Yeah. You can actually even tap the back of your neck here if you want to, rather than squeezing, if you want a bit more, a bit more energizing. And turn it down. Okay, very good. So that's the front and the back of the head. Okay, and that's how we work mainly with headaches with shiatsu. So if you get headaches on the side of the head, we tend to work down this way. Headaches on the front of the head, we work this way. And headaches on the back, we go down the bladder. Okay, and we use the distant, distal um, points on the feet to treat the head. So you can see how that can work. Okay, great. So now it's checking in time. So we're going to stand again. Okay, and just remember, take your mind back to when you tuned into your burners at an hour ago when we started. Okay, so let's just tune in again now to our lower burner. Doesn't that feel a lot more solid now? Okay, a lot more solid and kind of comfortable all the way back. We did a lot of work today on that. Very important going into the winter that you get that sensation. 
Okay, middle burner, nice and open. Feels a little bit like this movement on there, some bubbling away. And what about the upper burner? Well, it's very lung orientated today. You should feel nice and open here in lung one. A nice feeling of energy, energy here in the upper burner. Okay, really good. But now, um, more important than anything is the connection between the lungs and the uh, dantian. So let's just relax like we did before. Okay. And without doing any particular focusing on the breathing, I just want you to just take a uh, really deep breath in. Okay, now you feel the difference there. Now breathe out. You feel that sinking feeling in, uh, in the upper burner and that connection with the lungs and the kidney is so important. Now, if you want to emphasize that, there is an actual technique and we're gonna finish off this week by actually doing a specific technique to connect the upper and the uh, lower burners. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our hand on this point here, it's called CB17. It's a really important point right in the center of the um, sternum here. And it's uh, sort of like that where the heart chakra is. It's right in the centre there. We're going to place our palm over there, okay? And we're going to place the other hand on the dantian, this lower dantian. And we're going to see if we can connect them up uh, through the central channel. This is another um, connecting pathway right through the centre of the body. So let's see if we can do it, okay? Let's breathe in, first of all, into this hand and then extend the in-breath down into this hand. Okay, now just imagine a feeling of connection between the two hands, and we're gonna breathe out and relax. Very good. Okay, let's keep going. So first of all, we're bringing the breath, the energy into here, and then we're sending it down to here, and we're making this connection between the two hands. You got it? Let's try it. So we're breathing in again to this hand with half the breath kind of thing. We keep the breath going in and now send it down into the lower dantian. Okay, now imagine those two hands connecting like a, with this kind of tube that runs down through the center of your body as we breathe out. Okay, very good. Now, if you start to feel a feeling of connection between the two hands as we breathe out, then that means you're getting that internal connection there energetically between the upper and the lower heater. So let's try it a few more times. We're gonna breathe in to the upper heater and then extend it into the lower. Hold it, connect the two hands, breathe out. Imagine a connection of light between the two hands deep into your body. Very good, one more, breathing in. Okay, so now if we just relax our hands, connect with heaven and earth, what we've been really encouraging today is to stabilize that lower burner going into the winter, open up the lungs, which give us a feeling of positivity, and to connect them, which stabilizes the breath. And it basically stops us getting anxious. Um, it will stop you getting anxious. It will really in um, insulate you against any kind of stress coming in over the next week. Okay, thank you again for another wonderful Wednesday. <laughs> really enjoyed it. Let's just find out if anyone's had a reaction today. Um, Let's find out how you feel now. Okay, remember back to how we were with the breathing um, and everything. And let's just share it now and just see how you're doing. Do you feel more balanced in general, about the same or less balanced? Have we had a reaction? I think it's fairly unusual to get a reaction um, with that particular breathing and kidney exercise. Okay, great. So most of you feel more balanced. If you still feel about the same, I'd encourage you to practice these exercises, practice this routine um, as much as you can before next Wednesday. It can be kind of tough sometimes to get that connection um, and it really does um, benefit from continued practice.
get the lower abdom lower abdomen breathing set up first and then open up the lungs and connect them together okay great so see you next week for the new format it's going to be pretty much the same in terms of the exercise but we're going to start feeding in we're going to get some slides and we're going to give you some handouts so you can read up about um, the theory of chinese medicine um, as we go through if that's what you'd like to do okay thank you so much i'll just go into the chat and just put a thumbs up in the chat and we'll say goodbye until next wednesday and thank you very much for shakura i can see you've been really busy on the um <laughs> very very busy on the chat so thank you for that see you later